The con maker has overloaded your systems. Vega has no control over... If you had let the culling continue, the human race you fight to protect would have survived. Now I will resurrect the Icon of Sin. He will devour Earth and leave your whole world in ruins. Life on your planet shall never return. And this will be yet another world you brought to extinction. This stronghold will now serve as your prison. With no power, you can do no more harm to our mission, and we may continue the work that must be done. Or... I kill you all. Not my ship! Turn power to my ship. Okay. How dare... How dare they? Am I right? How fucking dare they? She didn't know you had the demonic crucible. <laughs> In the end, the very power source you sought to eradicate from Earth is now what will help you save it. The mission on Sentinel Prime was a success. The demonic consumption of Earth has been stopped. Only a Slayer's Crucible Blade can stop a Titan. You must get to the Sentinel City of Taras Nabad to retrieve your Crucible before it is too late. Without it, the Titan cannot be stopped. Setting the portal to Taras Nabad. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll do that, and then I want to, is this what you, you check? Where's the thing that checks? Um, oh, maybe not. Okay. That's no, not that. Alright, I thought there was something. Never mind. Oh, it's red. Into the drink, boys. Are a snobot. It be dark as a motherfucker. The crucible is still embedded in the titan that attacked this sentinel city. Your first battle against the demons in this world. Where the legend of the slayer began. reading stuff the city of naras nabad was the crown jewel of the argent denor for centuries it served as a spiritual heart of argent society home to both the royal family and the center of political power no expense was spared in the building of the city with bold uh, colonial architecture and towering uh, monuments to gods and kings resplendent on every avenue royal argenta flocked to taras nabad on pilgrimage to the maker temples the city was ground zero of a massive demonic invasion attempt and although the invasion was thwarted the attack changed argenta society for ever Oh. 
Oh, it's Heavy Boy. Hi, Heavy Boy. What's up, buddy? Hi. Well, oh no. Get your stupid marauder ass out of here. What am I stuck on? Kidding me? His shield even blocks that. Fucker, fucker! The great city of Taurus Nabucod, site of the first recorded demon attack in Argentinua. According to the Korax tablet, the city would have been lost had it not been for the arrival of the slave. Charles McKenzie over here. What do I have? My arsenal. I have thirteen points. this. Now these, oh my god, alright, I need to find that thing.
the fuck are you? No, I'm asking a real question here. What the fuck are you? Uh... He was the catalyst. I was right. There's an invisible piece of shit that's been following me this entire goddamn time. And what I'm gonna need you to fucking do is die. Me and you, bud. Oh, I kinda like my fucking odds. I could be wrong! Been wrong in the past. Yeah, you keep spinning! Spinning! All your strength, all that rage, and you couldn't save this world from itself. But this time, Earth will be different. It's 
Sorry, I need some ammo. Sorry, I need some health. You got any more ammo for me? No? Okay, I'll take health then. Wow. Okay. That was intense. Indeed, I do spin people right around, baby right around. Like a record, I hear. Uh, when underwater dashing, the only way to break through stuff. Yeah. I can't go onto the surface, so that's a negative already. Oh, thank you, baby Jesus. I'm so backwards right now. Okay, what is this? Mastery tokens. Mastery tokens allow you to bypass active weapon mastery challenges and instantly activate weapon. If you use mystery tokens on the weapon mystery challenges in the arsenal tab. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Activist, yes. After triggering a fully charged heat blast, plasma projectiles have a damage boost for a short time. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. You, buddy. I know it's easier to take you out by the tail, but I was in desperate measures here. Okay. 
With the coming of the Slayer, the Night Sentinels took the campaign deeper into the heartland of the demons than ever before. Mighty Atlans were brought forth, tearing paths through the hordes of hell alongside the Slayer and his army. The High Priests, under the guidance of the Mother God, and found means to gain entry to the innermost regions of the demon world. And with the Dag's presence, new gates could be opened. Our war machines were unstoppable, wrought with maker technology, enhanced by the very essence our enemies hurled against us as our, en as our armies drove deeper and deeper into the blood-drenched territory of the demons. Countless victories were assured with the power of the Slayer, for with the Alpha inter Interfector at the fore of our pack were brought certain doom to our foes. And through our hearts were pure and our purpose righteous, unbeknownst to the fighters of Argenta. In our wake and under the veil of secrecy, the Mother God had set her priest to build vast factories upon the heathen's land that she might gather the essence for further de development. How this deception began we would not know. For our focus remained on the hordes of the underworld. Why then would we stoop so low as to consider our mother god of betraying our covenant? The con maker did not seem at ease with the unforeseen rise of our slayer. And the uh, seraphim who had birthed the destroyer in secret soon vanished for Erdak, perhaps ex exiled for his hearsay. Heresy. Our legions rose unfettered under the unquenchable rage of the Doomslayer, and his design led the Khan Maker to find profit in his endorsement. It soon became known that the Slayer was the Maker's god machine, a holy relic reborn, sent to bring the Maker's word to the wicked, and to smite those who would seek to harm all who followed the path to Erdak. With the Slayer unwittingly, uh, cleaving a path for her, the Mother God siphoned the essence, processing it beyond our knowledge into the fuel that would come to be known as Ar Argent Energy. The Slayer cared not for polity. He took no interest in working workings of our people, but set his task only on his desire, the destruction of the demons in their world. He no longer spoke for reasons unknown, though it was understood that he still possessed the ability, offering our guttural hefts of anger as he inflicted pain upon his enemy. For years he marched with the night sentinels through the fires of the demon lands, and every, and every return to our home world found much changed in Argent Denor. Should any blame be apportioned uh, to the sentinels, it is this. In our fervor, we were neglectant. Wow, that was weird. Of our people, and did not see the rising tide of evil our crusade empowered. We knew only the enemy laid before us in the wealth of Argenta on, at our backs, and did not pause to seek the cost and method of this progress.